Much like the Earth and many of its agricultural inhabitants, humans go through seasons. We go through seasons of growth, seasons of bloom, seasons of change, seasons of struggle when we don't get as much sun or rain as we need. Alternatively, the monsoon seasons, when we feel the flood tugging at our roots and blocking our oxygen supply, when everything feels too much to handle, and in these times we can easily lose sight of the strength that lies in those roots. The years of hard work that have forged those roots from just a tiny seed and now into something far more grand. There's another important thing that we tend to lose sight of in these times. Seasons come and seasons go. There is not a year that goes by where we miss a spring nor a winter. Without fail, every morning the sun will rise and every night the sun will set. Much the same, the human condition is a life of seasons, each with their own setbacks and advantages. When our vision gets blurry, we can find comfort in looking backward at all of those before us who suffered their own deep winters and made the sure and deliberate effort to make it through to spring. We can find inspiration in reflecting on those who were oppressed, those who were beaten down, who had their hedges trimmed, but did not allow their growth to be stunted for anything. We may look up at those before us who stood up for themselves, who were not afraid to say, We want our freedom and we want it now. We may look at the blueprint that they have left us with and find this. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebody -ness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Every individual on this planet is blessed with the inherent ability to do good, big or small. That not only means you, but every person that stands beside you. Take a moment to look around. Look around and realize that you, as well as anybody else, can be a catalyst for change, to help a hungry friend in need, to give a home to a stray dog, to give somebody directions, to be the next speaker on the pedestal who makes the world think in a way they've never thought before. It is our duty, no, our honor, to persevere, to do as those before us have done and push forward with not a clue of what lies ahead, but with absolute faith that what we do is just and that what we do is with purpose. It is our honor to reach out a helping hand to those around us, those whose roots are slipping out of the dirt beneath them and show to them that they are not the first to struggle. They will not be the last to struggle, but they can surely be among the greatest to struggle. We all have that power within us, and we all have the honor to make sure that those ahead of us may look back and face the same reality that we face looking back now, that no circumstance, no incredible circumstance, is too great to overcome, for light cannot exist without darkness, and beauty cannot exist without light.